So I'm going to uh, belabor this a little bit and show you some study tools that you can learn, use to learn about how to conduct blood sampling so that you can determine the blood type. Uh, so I'm going to put into my browser class zone, virtual lab, and McDougall has these virtual labs. I'm going to click on virtual lab class zone, and there McDougall is coming up, and I'm going to go to the bottom and cl click on a blood type. A member of the community needs a blood transfusion. Four people from his neighborhood volunteer to donate their blood, but they don't know their blood types. The patient has a less common blood type, type B RH positive or type B positive. To find out if the patient can accept blood from any of the potential donors, the doctors must type the blood of the four volunteers. In this investigation, you will learn how to type blood and then choose the best match or matches for the patient. Explore the lab to learn what is available for your investigation. You must click on each item in the checklist. Once you are ready to move on, click Procedure. So the purpose of this is to determine or is to learn what all the different sources of materials are. These are the four samples, four blood typing samples right here. Four blood samples. These are the samples of blood that need to be typed. So I'm going to pause this and move on so that uh, we shorten the length of this video. But when you go to this, you should go through and click on every item in this lab and then follow the instructions because you'll have to go uh, and fill out the lab notebook to guesstimate what the blood type is and so forth before you can go on and do different things. Okay, so now we're going to go on to procedure. You notice that all of these check marks come up on this checklist, so we're ready to go. To type blood, three anti serums are used anti A, anti B, and anti RH. Before you begin your investigation, you need to understand the reaction between anti serums and blood. Read the additional information in your lab notebook and the background information. Open the lab notebook and record your predictions. Once you've made your predictions, click the arrow to advance to step two. So I've opened the lab notebook and the way you do this is you look at the blood type. Blood type A, does it have anti-A antibody? No, because you can't have an antibody against yourself. Does it have an anti-B antibody? Yes, because it would have an antibody against something that is not itself. And remember that the A and B are on one different, one certain um, chromosome, and the RH is on another type of chromosome. So we will type in yes and no as is appropriate every place here, and then on the RH, will RH positive have an RH antibody? No. Will RH negative have an RH antibody? Yes. So we type in no and yes. I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to pause again and get on with it. Okay, before we go on to step two, let me just say that the ABO blood group, remember it's here, the ABO blood group is on chromosome 9, and the RH blood group, group or a, a locus is on chromosome 1. Okay, step 2 of 9. What didn't I do? Oh, I didn't fi finish filling out the lab notebook. Sorry, i got to finish doing this. Okay, I had to fill up fill out the lab notebook and click print in order to get this to go on to step click the two. Micro pipette to fill it with blood sample one and deposit the sample in each of the three wells of blood typing slide one. Once all three wells are filled, click the arrow to advance to step three. Okay, you see they throw that away. Can I go back to two? No, I can't. So I gotta go to step three. Click the anti-A serum bottle to add a drop of the serum to the blood in the well mark A. Click the anti-B serum bottle to add a drop of the serum to the blood in the well marked B. Click the anti-RH serum bottle to add a drop of the serum to the blood in the well marked RH. Once each well is filled with the correct anti-serum, click the arrow to advance to step four. 
Click the egg timer to set it for 30 seconds. When the timer goes off, click slide 1 and look for any changes to the blood in all three wells. Open the lab notebook and record your observations of blood sampling 1. Once you have recorded your observations, click the arrow to advance to step 5. Okay, now in order to get on to the next steps, you have to fill out the lab notebook again and hit print, and then you can test each one of these. You'll notice that there's clumping. Uh, that clumping is pretty dramatic in this animation, but in a real blood sample, it is just as dramatic. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close this, leave it for you to play with by looking it up on the Internet in your browser. And um, I recommend that you do that. And then you can look at the next video that I'm going to add to this, which is going to show you the materials that I use in the lab and actually prick my finger and do a test on me. So as I was saying, my blood is O positive, which means I do not have A antigens on my red cells. I do not have B antigens on my red cells, but I have RH antigens on my red cells. So when I put the antibody for A into my blood here, I won't get any clumping. And when I put the antibody for B, which is the anti-serum, has the antibody, into this B disc or B well with my blood in it, I will not get clumping. But when I put anti-RH into this, I will get clumping because this antigen is going to cause these red cells, which have the RH protein on them, to bind together and we'll get clumping here. And it will look a lot like this cartoon simulation. It won't be exactly that, but it will look very similar. It will be just as dramatic. If I have to squint my eyes to see the clumping, we may not see it well with the camera, but if I have to squint my naked eyes to see this clumping, it didn't happen. Now that you have looked at class zone and gotten an idea of how we do blood typing, I'm going to show you this is a kit. This is a tray to put your blood in. These are the anti-gins, in other words, the anti-sera for testing blood. Blue is anti-A, yellow is anti-B, and this green is RH. So we're looking, the question is, does the blood sample, and these are fake blood samples here, the question is, does the blood sample have antibodies in it against A, B, or RH. Well, these play samples, fake blood samples, and simulation samples are good for practice, but they're not the real thing. So I'm going to move this over to the real thing. Okay. This is the real thing. And here we have the real human serum. Yellow is anti-B. So that's B antigens. A is anti-A. A antigen, the protein that's on your blood cell. And the clear one is RH antibody. Antigen, I'm sorry. <laughs> the antibodies are in your blood, and that's what you want to look at for. So this is the tray. And you can do this with glass slides. You don't have to do it with trays, but this is A, B, and RH labeled to keep it straight. These are plastic throwaway toothpicks for stirring. So we would use one, throw it away, use one, throw it away, so that we don't cross-contaminate. So I'm going to prick my finger. I'm going to put a drop of blood in each of these wells. Then I'm going to add a drop of RH and anti-B and anti-A to the appropriate tubes, stir them, or the appropriate discs, stir them, and we'll see if we get clumping. I am anti, I am O positive. So there should not be any clumping in AB, but there should be 
clumping in RH for me. Since these are held in the refrigerator and kept cold, to preserve them, it may take a little bit of time, a minute or so, to get this done. So I'm going to use this. Hold on. There. I'm going to use this. And this is a finger sticker that you press against the finger. And then I'm going to shut this off while I get the blood because I'm all here alone. Otherwise, I'd do it. So I'm going to prick my finger. I'm going to get the blood in each of these tubes, and then we'll turn this back on. Okay, hold on. Okay, you can see I have the blood now. Let me change the focus on this. You can see I have the blood. Now, the yellow is B. So, a drop of yellow. The blue is A, so a drop of A. The RH is clear, a drop of RH. Okay. Now, I'm going to stir. And then I'm going to throw this away. Discard. Then I'm going to stir the B, throw this away, discard, and I'm going to stir the RH, and discard. So those are going to go in the Sharpie containers, which is across the room here. They'll go in there. Okay. proper disposal always while we wait to see if we can see a response and I might have to get us some better light and I don't know if we'll be able to see this with the camera hopefully we will Well, there's no clumping in B. There's no clumping in A, which is what it should be. And we should see clumping eventually in the RH. So hold on. I'll turn the camera off for a minute while we wait for this to warm up. Actually, I don't know if you can see it. Probably can't. I'm going to change the focus on the camera and see, but the RH is well clumped. It is agglutinated. And you can see the clumping around the edge of this pretty dramatically, but you really need to see it live and in person to appreciate it. But it is there, believe me. Okay, so uh, that's it. And if you'll notice during this last segment of this video that I was making for you, I kept saying the wrong thing. I kept saying that the antigen was in the anti-serum and the antibody was in me. But no, it's backwards. I was backwards, and that's why I'm going over this, because it's so easy to get confused. My blood either has the antigen or it does not have the antigen. And we're going to trying to find out if it has the antigen. If I am blood type O, <clears throat> I do not have the antigen. Therefore, the antibody in the anti-serum bottles will not make the blood clump. But I have the antigen for RH, so the antibody in the anti-serum bottle for RH makes my blood clump because it has the antigen on it. And that's how antibodies work. So it's sort of backwards when we do the testing but that's the way it is and so try to understand that and see if you can but understand that we all get confused with this and that's why you have to spend some real time studying it and writing these things down because if I give you a quiz you could get it backwards and miss the points